morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I'm Jem and I'm a mummy of two and today's video is in collaboration with the lovely Kirsty Elizabeth and we're going to do a video on what we eat in a typical day on Slimming World. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a Target member at Slimming World. I achieved my Target back in April, I think it was. So yeah, like seven months ago now. Um, I'm currently sitting nearer the top end of my Target. So at the moment, I am fully trying to stay on plan um, so that I can get back down to the lower end of my Target. I want to be there before Christmas just so then I can enjoy Christmas and not worry about it. And now I've kind of got like that six pound limit. So if I gain that over Christmas, it's not going to be the end of the world. So yeah, I will link her channel in the description box below, so go and check her video out. She popped that up yesterday with what she eats in a typical day, so now I'm going to show you what I usually eat in a day. I have already had a cup of coffee this morning, um, I'm not dressed yet but I've done my makeup because Toby's just gone for a nap after his breakfast so I thought I'm just going to quickly do my makeup um, and make the most of him being asleep. But anyway I'll stop rambling now and I will show you what I eat in a day on Summer World. So oh, I'm just making myself a, another cup of tea. I use sweetener in mine so that is free in tablet form. Um, I think they've changed the rules now with sweetener and if you use over a certain amount you have to sin it. And I'm going to use skimmed milk in my cup of tea. I am quite naughty, I don't measure out my milk through the day. Um, but I have very, very minimal amount of milk so I, it's never affected me before, um, since I got to Target that is. Um, before I got to Target I always measured. Um, but since then I haven't. How annoying is this? I've bought the King's Mill no crust wholemeal bread because you can have three slices of that as your healthy bitty and it's still got crust on. That's so annoying. <laughs> so on my bread I've put a tablespoon of the Heinz tomato ketchup. The 50% less sugar and salt one is half a sin for one level tablespoon. He's fast asleep in his pram. So I'm going to have my bacon sandwich and watch some TV. So yeah, I just wanted like a nice simple breakfast this morning. It is like half ten now anyway. Um, I always get my breakfast a bit later on a weekday because I'm just so busy with getting Livy ready for school. Um, and then Toby needs his breakfast and then he goes for a nap so I just find it easier to make my breakfast when he's asleep so that I can enjoy it. So I'm sorry this is really uninspiring but my lunch today is just going to be this deli box noodles barbecue beef. I think they are sin free I will double check though and tell you later if it's not um, because I'm just about to go out on the school run not the school run I keep saying the school run it's the nursery run so yeah I'm just about to go out on the nursery run and I just need something quick that's going to fill me up um, and then I'm going to have a snack later on just to keep me going until dinner time. So it is ten past two so I'm going to have a snack, I'm going to have a cup of tea and one of the carrot cake bars because I had two slices of the wholemeal bread before and you can have three of those as your healthy bee I usually have like one hi-fi bar and class the two slices of bread and the hi-fi bar as my healthy bee for the day so so far I'm only on half sin for the day which I'm really impressed with I never usually get this far through the day with only having that amount of sins so yeah, I'm going to have this snack now, um, I'm going to do a little bit of tidying and then I'm going to go and get Livy from school and then I'm going to make dinner for me and her because Matt's at football and Toby's at nursery until 6 so he'll have his dinner there so it's just going to be something for me and her tonight. Let me know which of the hi-fi bars are your favourite. I am loving these carrot cake ones right now. Closely followed by... Let's have a look. Oh, I can't open the tin. Oh jeez, hang on. Ignore the Prosecco. <laughs> um, where are they? Libby eats all my hi-fi bars, so these ones, the Choc Macaroon. If you're wondering what that noise is, by the way, it's my bin. It's um, automatic, so it just opens. I love the chocolate orange ones as well. I don't know which ones else I've got in here. This is ridiculous, right? I've got this tin here full of hi-fi bars. And then in my cupboard here, I've got 
all these boxes of high five bars as well i really really need to eat some of them up but these you can't get anymore so i'm limiting myself on them and i think these are i think they've stopped as well i'm not sure i'm just trying to decide what to make for dinner it is what time is it quarter past four and i can't decide what to make i'm, I'm currently deciding between making some salmon pasta it's basically bolognese sauce but with salmon in um it's really really nice or this nor tuna whatever napolitana no idea how you pronounce that this is six sins for a packet but it's four portions so it's one and a half sins each so it's really really good um i think this was 19p from home bargains so yeah, I know they've got normal like bolognese stuff in as well. Oh, I don't know. I really, really fancy some pasta, so it's going to be something along those lines. But I'll decide and then I'll let you know. So I've gone with the tuna. Basically, you put 200 ml of water in the pan and add the contents of that to it. Then you've got to add some chopped tomatoes. It's supposed to just be normal, but I've only got it with herbs, so... And what else does it say? Three tablespoons of tomato puree and a can of tuna and some pasta. Okay, so this smells amazing. That's the tuna and the sauce cooking there. The pasta's cooking away there. I'm just going to serve myself up a little portion of the pasta with that and then I'm going to have some salad on the side, I think. Yes, I've made a mess. Don't judge me. So that's the finished meal. Um, I was going to have some mozzarella on the top as well but i've decided just to forget about that so i'm going to end today's video here just because i want to get this video up tonight and i've got to get toby from nursery at six so it's going to be quite a rush when i get home so i want to eat my dinner now edit this video get it up don't forget to go and check out kirsty's video i will link her in the description box below like i said earlier i probably will have a couple of snacks later i'm thinking i'm probably going to have a another high five bar for three sins so and maybe a packet of chip sticks for five sins just because i've only had half a sin all day no that's a lie i haven't had half a sin all day because how many sins did i say it's going to be one and a half so i've had two sins all day which for me is like incredible i'm so shocked i've managed to finish the day on that many sins so i'm going to allow myself up to 10 sins for some snacks tonight so yeah i'll probably go for another high five bar or a packet of chip sticks or i might even go for a packet of the sweet and salted popcorn by metcalf so i think that's six sins for that one drinks wise today as well i know i've only shown me drinking cups of tea but i have had about three pints of water as well and um, i've just been filling up a pint glass and through the day i've just been drinking from it i do usually use a hydrate mate bottle but i've left mine at my mum's at the moment so i haven't got one um and i need to get another one really if you've enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already if you'd like to see more of these videos then let me know because i have enjoyed making it um i could even do some cook with me videos recipe ideas whatever you'd like to see just let me know anyway i'm going to stop waffling and i'll see you guys in my next one bye